Hey guys, how is everybody doing this wonderful Thursday morning? Here in Chattanooga, we are having another gray, drizzly day. That's kind of been the um, the norm for the last month or so. Uh, that's all right. I'm here for it. I am still so thankful to be here in Chattanooga and for the really mild weather that we overall do have. I'm 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 here for it. I'm not complaining. Well, and today on this Thursday morning, I wanted to come to you guys and share about the January data that was just released this week from what our Chattanooga MLS was looking like. And so I'm going to tell you some of the stats and what they mean as well. If you have any interest in building wealth through real estate using Chattanooga real estate, you know, buying some primary residence, uh, investment property, whatever the case may be. So new listings in January. This is the number of houses that were listed on the MLS as new in January was 956. Now, let's see, what was this compared to December? In December, they had 705 new listings hit the market. So that's an increase of 251 houses. That's a huge increase in the number of listings that we had in January versus February, meaning a lot more people, or excuse me, January versus December, a lot more people were listing their houses. And that's very standard because not a ton of people want to list their houses when they're thinking about Christmas, right? And so after Christmas, after New Year's, then people are like, okay, the holidays are over, let me list my house. And that's when we start to see the number of new listings going up. And I would expect in a standard year that we're going to continue to see that increase through the next several months, up until about maybe May, June. Um, and then pending sales. So this is the number of houses that went from active to under contract. That was 934, which was up from 635 in December, an increase of 299. So that means more houses went pending than hit the market, okay? We had 251 more listings in January than we had in December. We had 299 more go under contract, okay? So what that's telling us is overall our inventory of homes decreased. So overall, the inventory of homes, which is the number of houses that were active, available for sale at the end of January was 1,645. At the end of December, that number of houses active on the market was 1,876. That's a decrease of active houses at the end of the month, the inventory of homes for sale at the end of the month, a decrease of 231 homes. Uh, so we had more new listings at the market in January, and yet at the end of the month, we had less available for sale than we did at the end of December because more buyers are out there buying. In the same way that sellers want to sell after the holidays, buyers want to buy. So if you are thinking of selling in 2023 and you want to sell fast and you want a lot of buyers to be interested, this is a great time to sell. We'd be happy to have a conversation with you and say, what does that look like? Do a market analysis of your house and show you what the market looks like in your house, what your house would be worth. Now, if you are thinking of selling, I wanna tell you a couple more statistics from January to give you some expectations. And these are statistics that I would say are back to our standard, like non-crazy COVID 2020, 2021, 2022 craziness with historically low interest rates. We're back to standard numbers, which um, when we look at the percentage of the original list price that a house sold for, right? So list to sales price is what we kind of call it. We're at about 95%. So people can overall on average in the market are getting about 95% of their original list price as their sales price. Our average sales price in the Chattanooga market is 359,000 as of January. And our average days on market, which is the number of days from when you go active for sale to when you accept an offer was 36 for the month of January. Now I will note that days on market, um, is a little bit of a lag indicator, right? Cause we see that for the houses that, are closed in January, but possibly one under contract 
December, things like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if when we get our February data that that days on market has gone down a little bit closer to like 30-ish, which I would say is our standard number um, if I was to choose one. So that's one thing on there. I wouldn't necessarily, I'd be surprised if it stayed at 36. I'd expect it to go down to around 30. So let's see when February's data comes out in mid-March if I'm right or not. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this data? What are you seeing in the market? What questions do you have about this market? I'd be happy to answer your questions below or you're welcome to reach out here on Facebook. You can see all of our contact information if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube. Again, all the contact information is below and we are always here happy to help. I live and breathe real estate so it's always a pleasure to get the opportunity to talk about it more. Thanks guys and have a fabulous Thursday.